last night, First News told you about volunteers building modified toy Jeeps for kids with disabilities. Today, 20 kids and their families received those cars at Mahoning County Career and Technical Center. First News reporter Cheyenne Gibbons was there to see the smiles on their faces. Families were in tears and smiling as their children were gifted accessible toy Jeeps. 20 children with disabilities that can make walking or playing outside difficult were gifted the Jeeps by Go Baby Go. Jaden is two years old and he was born with microcephaly and is on the autism spectrum. His mother, Kitty O'Hara, says Jaden loves his new ride. I'm so excited and he loves it. He absolutely loves it. And I'm so grateful for them. I can't even... It's awesome. The Go Baby Go event started nine years ago and has given away 154 toy Jeeps to children. The event is sponsored by John and Denise Hirschbeck. They wanted to give back after their sons passed away from a rare genetic brain disease. This event is their favorite day of the year. It's for these kids to have the freedom of being in a car by themselves and it's just really a, a great feeling and to see their smiles and their faces is even a better feeling. Other than a stroller or a wheelchair or things, these, most of these children have never walked, so it's kind of put the breeze in their hair by having their own little car to take home. No two cars are made the same. Each car is also decorated to fit each child's personality. Their names go on the back of the car as well. The cars can be driven by the child or remote controlled by the parents. Physical therapist Beverly Lankitis says the cars are made to each child's need. We have some children who are not able to sit up, so we have to build seating for them. We have children on ventilators. Um, those children, we get the Tundra that has a kind of a hatchback to carry the ventilator along with them um, and other medical equipment. So they're able to take their medical equipment and go for a ride. The event was held at the Mahoning County Career and Technical Center where volunteers built the cars the night before. Students at the Career Center also made and designed the nameplates on the back of the Jeeps. In Canfield, Shina Gibbons, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.